Hello everyone and welcome to the Independent Center of Colorado Springs video on how to code your time to different departments. Some of you may get into a situation where you're working in two completely different departments and we want to make sure that you code your time worked appropriately to each department. So that's what we're going to discuss today is how to do that on your Paylocity time card. So once you arrive at your time card, um, go ahead and get to the day I'm going to pretend that I broke up my time on Tuesday the 19th. So the first thing I do is I select work. I use my drop down menu and I select work because it's all still time worked. Um, I'm going to say I started at 730 and I went to 1130. But I actually wasn't working in my default department, which is where I would normally work. I was actually working for client directed home health. So I need to go ahead and I need to change that. So I click the magnifying glass and a pop up box appears that has four different options of things that I can do. All you have to do is click the drop da the, the down arrow in each box to see what your options are and pick the one that is correct. So for division, for example, um, I know I'm in home health, so I'm going to choose home health. For the department, um, yep, okay, healthcare at home is my best option there. For job, oh, I don't have anything to select in job. I can leave that one blank. And then when I go down to program, I wasn't client directed, so I'm going to choose client directed. So once I have everything appropriately chosen, I click update down at the bottom left corner of the little box. And notice that my coding is now changed. It is no longer the 22 one. It has changed completely from my default. So I want to go ahead and click Save. And then I'm going to scroll back down because I didn't actually leave at 1130. I spent the rest of the day working in my normal department. So I still need to record that time, which means I need to add another row because notice this this bluish green row, it's just a spacer. I can't actually add anything in there. So to add another row to enter information, I need to click on the row that I just added and make it that yellow orange and then go up to the top and click add row. And now I have a new row where I can put in work information again. So I, once again, I'm going to choose work. And now I'm going to change my start time because I actually started in my default department at 1130. And I went all the way until four. I'm in my default department, so I do not need to click this magnifying glass because I don't need to change any of my coding. So I'll just click save there. And I actually did take my half hour lunch. So that looks good. It looks like I have eight hours for the day. I'm perfect. I have now entered my time. Um, I've coded it appropriately. I have four hours in the, um, the client directed healthcare at home, and then I have four hours in my normal department. And that's exactly what I feel like I worked, so that looks good to me. So I am done splitting out my time, worked in each different department. Now, when you click on the magnifying glass, if you don't find the department that you need, if, um, say, say you worked in independent living, but let's say, you worked in uh, education or the benefits department or something that is clearly not here. So you can't choose it and you know you can't choose it. Uh, what you would want to do is contact your manager and let them know that this that your time card is not set up correctly for you to code correctly and they will um, reach out to the payroll department and get you set up. And that's all there is to it. So thank you very much for your attention and have a lovely day.